Hello, today's story is Billy's Bucket, which is one of Elia's favourite stories. Can I have a bucket for my birthday? asked Billy. Billy's dad looked up from his newspaper. A bucket? You don't want a bucket for your birthday. Nobody has a bucket for their birthday. Why don't they? asked Billy. Because, Billy, explained his mum, buckets are, well, buckets are far too buckety to be a birthday present. But Billy wouldn't be persuaded. Please, can I have a bucket? he asked. Have a bike, said his dad. Or some new trainers, said his mum. Or a computer game. I want a bucket, said Billy. All right, sighed Billy's dad. You can have a bucket for your birthday. Yippee! shouted Billy. The next day, Billy and his mum and dad went to Buckets R Us. There were buckets of buckets at Buckets R Us. Rubber buckets, plastic buckets, metal buckets, garden buckets, farm buckets, builders buckets, seaside buckets and even football buckets. Billy's mum and dad followed Billy up and down every single aisle. What sort of bucket are you looking for? they asked. I don't know, said Billy, but I'll know it when I see it. Billy looked long and hard at every single bucket on every single shelf. There it is, he shouted excitedly. That's the one I want. Right up there, 19 shelves up, 78 along from the left. Billy's mum and dad got someone to help them. They all look the same to me, said the shop assistant. No, that one is special, said Billy excitedly. When Billy got home, he ran straight into the kitchen and filled his bucket with water. Wow, said Billy, peering inside the bucket. I can see a rock pool with crabs and seaweed and little shrimpy things. Of course you can, Billy, smiled his dad. Wow, we said Billy. I just saw a shark. Of course you did, Billy, laughed his mum. Guess what I've seen now, said Billy, sitting down for his birthday tea. I've seen a stingray and some clownfish and a huge shoal of barracuda. And I think I've seen a mermaid, but it might have been a big herring. Of course you have, Billy, laughed his dad. Billy carried his bucket into the lounge. What's in your bucket at the moment, Billy, chuckled his dad. Two submarine and a pilchard, said Billy. What's in your bucket now, Billy, giggled his mum. Seven sea lions and a walrus, said Billy. Of course there are, Billy, laughed his mum and dad. Billy was still staring into his bucket at bedtime. Billy's dad nudged his wife and winked. Billy, is it all right if we borrow your bucket to mix up some wallpaper paste tomorrow? Billy looked up from his bucket and frowned. No, it isn't. There are dolphins in my bucket at the moment. You must never borrow my bucket. Billy's mum waited a few moments and winked at her husband. Billy, is it all right if we borrow your bucket? to water the roses with tomorrow. Billy looked up from his bucket and shook his head. There are two scuba divers in my bucket at the moment. You must never, ever borrow my bucket. Billy's dad chuckled to himself and waited a few more moments. Billy, is it all right if I borrow your bucket to clean the car tomorrow? Billy looked up from his bucket and sighed. <sighs> No, it is not all right. There's a coral reef in my bucket at the moment. You must never, ever, ever borrow my bucket. What an imagination, laughed Billy's mum and dad. Time for bed. Billy put his bucket away and went upstairs. Thanks for a lovely birthday, he said, and the best present in the world. When Billy woke up the next morning, he got dressed quickly and ran downstairs to play with his bucket. But it wasn't there. I told you not to borrow my bucket, said Billy. 
It took Billy's mom and dad six hours, three fire engines, four cranes and a shoehorn to get the whale back into the bucket. They never borrowed Billy's bucket again. Hope you enjoyed that. Bye bye. Stay safe.